The fintech industry is becoming more and more attractive following the effects of the pandemic and the acceleration of digital transformation. But some people are thinking of switching jobs and are considering joining fintechs and are also looking to find ways to prepare themselves for a career in the space. So I actually picked up this idea from my fellow YouTuber, Martin Zeman, where I decided to speak about five of the best courses to prepare you for a career in fintech, digital financial services, or digital transformation. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you haven't already subscribed, then please consider doing so because on this channel, I speak about agile transformation, digital strategy and personal development. Now the world of work is changing so fast that we constantly need to be reassessing our jobs, roles and skills to ensure that we're still relevant. The lockdowns following the pandemic gave people the opportunity to take advantage of online courses to acquire new skills or sharpen their existing skill sets. With technology transforming industries, most people are looking for ways to prepare themselves for more tech-related roles and digital transformation. So here are five courses that you can explore to acquire the skills in the areas of fintech, digital financial services, and digital transformation. Now the first course that I recommend is the Fintech Foundations and Applications course offered online by the University of Pennsylvania Wharton. Now, University of Pennsylvania is a very prestigious university and certification to have on your CV. The course lays the foundation for your knowledge in FinTech and also adds in real world practice and applications, so it's not just all theory. The course covers a broad aspect of FinTech, which gives you many options for your FinTech career. It covers the use of technology for financial application, blockchain applications, portfolio management, payments, and peer-to-peer -peer lending. There's also a host of others like Robo Advising, etc. Now, this course will probably take you about 15 to 20 hours to complete, but it's also self-paced, so you can decide to pause and return at any time. It's offered fully online on Coursera, and you receive a certificate of completion when you're done that can be displayed on your LinkedIn profile. Most recruiters in the fintech and tech space usually scout from LinkedIn, so it's advisable to keep your profile up to date with all your latest learnings and associated digital certificates to evidence this. The course has received very high ratings from students who have participated in it in the past, and it's a really good option for beginners. The next course will be the Digital Transformation in Financial Services Specialization offered by the Copenhagen Business School in Denmark. Now, this has to be one of my favorite online courses. This course is designed for anyone who wants to chart a career in the space of digital financial services or in that industry generally. It's a four-course specialization that covers digital competition and financial services, fintech and transformation, innovation strategy, and the course ends with a capstone project that challenges you to apply all the lessons that you've been taught to develop a digital strategy of your own. Now, this course is ideal for fintech strategists, digital bankers, and management level executives who are looking to develop fintech strategies or are looking to become authorities in the space of digital banking. Now, Scandinavia is known to be a world leader in the digital transformation space. And in this course, they use various practical examples from digital finance companies such as Saxo Bank, PayPal, and MobilePay, amongst others. Now, the course includes premium videos and quizzes to help improve your skills and is offered entirely online via the Coursera platform. It will probably take you about three months to complete and you get a specialization certificate upon completion, which is a step above the regular course certificate. So I recommend this course to anyone interested in learning about digital business ecosystem and digital platforms. The third course would be the Professional Certificate in FinTech from the University of Hong Kong. Now this course is meant to develop some of the most in-demand skills in blockchain and FinTech technologies. The course is conducted by the University of Hong Kong and the program covers not just FinTech sectors but also covers players like startups, big tech firms and traditional financial institutions like banks and regulators. Now the course is actually three courses rolled up into one made up of the introduction into fintech, blockchain and the security and risk aspects of fintech. Now this course is offered entirely online as well via the edX platform which is a non-profit massive open online course platform co-founded by Harvard and MIT. 
The duration of this course is six weeks, which you can get through if you dedicate about one to three hours of study per week. You get trained exclusively by industry experts who possess a great deal of understanding of the latest trends in technology, finance, and regulation. Now the fourth course will be the Certified Digital Finance Practitioner Certification offered by the Digital Frontiers Institution, which is accredited by the Fletcher School, Tufts University in Massachusetts. Now this course is one that I'm currently taking and I must say that it's one of the best programs for those seeking to specialize in the field of digital financial services. It's a three-year program but it's possible to complete it in 16 months and it offers users a 360 degree view of the digital financial services landscape and an understanding of the different business models and use cases for digital financial services globally. Now lessons take place on the institution's platform and the virtual classroom gives you the opportunity to meet, engage, and undertake projects with others also taking the course. Now, students are also given the opportunity to choose a subfield or specialization depending on which areas they want to chart their career paths. So you get to streamline courses between regulation, customer and use cases of digital payments, and technology or digital enablers. Now, what I enjoy most and find unique about this program is that its courses and the use cases and examples that are used are taken in the local African context. A lot of the learnings are taken from best practice globally, but are translated into local market application, which I haven't seen from any of the other courses out there. So you learn about topics like mobile money operations, local payment technologies, all of which provide a lot of insights that are very relevant and applicable right away in your career or business. So this is definitely a high recommendation for me, even though it's more of a full program rather than a short course like the others. Then lastly, we have FinTech Law and Policy from Duke University. Now this course is designed for anyone interested in the critical regulatory, legal and policy issues which are associated with FinTech, online lending, initial coin offerings, cryptocurrencies, wealth management and new payments. Now, it's a well-explained program which is very easy to follow and you also get taught by Lee Reiners who is the executive director at Global Financial Markets Center. You get exclusive training on mobile payments, ICOs and the US financial markets and banking regulation. So you acquire knowledge on unfamiliar topics that you need to be aware of. Now, upon completion of this course, you get a digital certificate accredited by Duke University, which is very prestigious and will look good on your CV and LinkedIn profile. Now, the course only takes about five weeks to complete, but can be completed sooner if you invest and dedicate more time to it. So friends, those are five courses that you can take to broaden your knowledge in the field of digital financial services and digital transformation. Now, I'll leave the links to all the courses I mentioned in the description below. So decide which works best for you, but always make sure you are in a continuous state of learning in order to cope with this new digital age. Now, if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to let me know. Cheers, guys.